Hey everybody, welcome to Wing Chun DC, uh, tutorial number nine. Um, today we're going to be looking at a uh, attacking and defending an attacking series of movements that you can practice at home. Um, this is really, really useful. Kind of actually, you could do this at any time when you're doing Chi Sao, you're going to come across an opportunity to do just this. Um, so, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to get into our stance. Okay, so we're going to from here, open up, tuck the pelvis in, okay, make sure the spine is straight from here, I'm going to shift onto one side, I'm going to move my weight from the centre over to the right, so I'm just setting everything up, I turn the body, turn the feet, so now I'm set up to, I'm rooted on this side, and I'm going to punch with this, I'm going to attack with my, my rear side, right, so I'm rooted on the right, that means I'm going to punch with the right. So from here, we're going to imagine that we're in chi cell, I'm going to punch, okay, I'm then going to imagine that my opponent uh, has defended that punch, right? And then they're going to attack me with that same arm. So my opponent's left arm is going to come back. So I punch here. They're going to come back. I'm going to imagine them punching me here. I'm going to just turn it into a bong sao here, like that. So I go from here. Look, hip comes underneath. I extend that punch. From here, I'm going to turn the hand over. I'm going to bong sao. Okay. So I might actually see how my body, my hip goes back here. And then I'm going to extend again there. So I extend once, catch here, hip goes back, extend again, and catch the punch, okay? So from here, now, I'm going to turn the hand over. So I'm gonna come there, imagine their hand is coming over this, over my bong sao here, and then I'm going to turn into tan sao, like that. So again, look, I can, my, my body is kind of doing this. On the, when force comes in, I bend it back, like that. It gives me a little bit of, this is kind of the yielding, um, so it's not full yielding like Tai Chi type yielding, which is, which is much more, uh, the, the, the yielding is more full, right? There's much more of a movement here. So we're doing small kind of Wing Chun style yielding, which is just a bend like that. The Tan Sao comes in, okay? So I've gone from Bong Sao here, block the punch. I've gone from Tan Sao, but I imagine that I'm still sticking to my opponent's hand right here. So I've still got the hold of their hand. Even though I've gone from Bong Sao here, I've gone to Tan Sao. Okay, then I'm going to strike, okay? There, so heel with the palm like that, and strike and extend, okay? Shoulder back down, here, elbow turns in and extend, okay? So that series, punch, bong sao, tan sao, strike, okay? Punch, bong sao, extend, tan sao, and so with here, with the tans I want to extend, I'm going to turn it into a palm strike like that, okay? So all you're doing really is you're just reacting, you're imagining reacting to the <clears throat> your uh, opponent striking you, okay? So I strike first, they strike back, I catch with the bong cell here, keep it back out there, I turn it over. So I might imagine that when I stick, I'm actually, as I move back, I'm actually pulling them in, okay? So I might, if I, if my hand moves back, they want to be, I want to be stuck to them. So they're pulling them back in, right? And hopefully they come off balance and then strike like that, okay? So then I'm going to switch sides, okay? So from here, I'm going to move my center of gravity. We're going to go through the whole process of shifting the weight. I stand in the middle here. Look, my center of gravity is now here. Tuck my hips up, okay? Shift my weight, turn the body, turn the heel from here. And I can practice on the other side, right? Punch, okay? Bong sao. Tan sao, strike. Okay, so remember hip, elbow connection, everything is, is lined up in the right way. If my elbow is out here, and I do it, I won't have my body frame behind me. So I have to have my elbow stays in. I punch, bong sao, tan sao, strike. Okay, you can actually do this also both sides at the same time, right? So let's say I come back to the middle here. Okay, I can here punch, I can do double bong sao, you don't really see this too much, you see this in, in I believe it's the second form, but here, um, definitely in the third form, here, so I go from here, I, I double bong sao, here, come back, like that, tan sao, double strike, okay, so, you know, this would be a good idea to practice this facing forward, because you want everything to be in balance, right, so what, this, both hands are doing exactly the same thing, both hips are doing exactly the same thing, both heels are doing exactly the same thing. 
all at the same time. And that means once you can do it all at the same time, you can turn one side off and train that and then turn the other side. So look, we'll do that again here. Punch, okay. Bong tail, tan tail, strike. And I practice it. All I'm doing is just practicing bowing my body, okay? So from here, there, tuck the hips up and I sink down into my heels there and I create this on the side here, you create this bowing effect. And that's where the power of the punch comes in, or the leverage comes in, okay? Here, in Wing Chun, that's where the power comes. Right, so you can practice that. Um, just practice that punch series, practice it on, on both sides, the left, the right, and then do it facing forward. Uh, you can also do, you know, I can angle off here and practice again with both sides. So if I'm angled off, I'm rooted on this side, I can double punch, double bong sao, double tan sao, strike here, punch, bong sao, tan sao, palm strike there, um, and you can do it the other way. So there's lots of different ways that you can practice. You can practice it in, in uh, rooted on the right, rooted on the left, facing forward, uh, one side on, one side off. Um, it's really up to you. But that punch series is really gonna be helpful. Um, one of the reasons why it's helpful at least this is why I train stuff like this all the time, is that it teaches you to go from offensive to defensive and back to offensive again, okay? So remember in Wing Chun, really, you always want to be attacking, okay? So the, so the defensive movements are temporary, right? They're all, everything always is, is, is changing, right, in Wing Chun. The only, thing, the only constant in Wing Chun is change, but that change is directed towards attacking, okay? So I attack, I have to defend, but then I... I, as soon as I go from Bong Tao to Tan Sao, right, I'm opening up that line again to, to strike again, right? If you see in the in the form, all, all the forms in Wing Chun, you always see Bong Tao to Tan Sao, okay? Whenever you do a Bong Tao, it's dropped straight into Tan Sao, and that's for a reason, because Bong Sao is a defensive movement, so I'm gonna drop it back into an offensive movement so I can strike, okay? So this is teaching you how to attack, defend, get ready for another attack, okay? Attack, defend, attack, right? You don't want the last thing that you do to be a defensive movement. If the last thing you do is a defensive movement, you don't have in your mindset the fact that you should always be attacking. You should always be moving forward. You should always be applying pressure and leverage and your opponent moving forward, right? We don't move back, we don't move backwards in one channel, okay? We can move to the side, sort of, why? in fact, no, we don't. We move the other person to the side. So I don't want to go, go, I don't want to move myself around my opponent. I want my opponent to move around me so then I can attack their blind side, okay? So we want to try and keep that in mind, right? So that we do very, very little defending or evading, okay? We do mostly what we do is attacking. And any defending is, is temporary until we can get the attack. Okay, so practice that, practice that series. Um, let me know how you get on. Leave comments in the section below, send me an email be more than happy to uh, discuss or answer any questions you have. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks.